Mike Ganter along with Ryan Wolstadt here at the ACC. Game five in the books. The Raptors are up 3-2 in this series now. Head back to Miami, Ryan. Um, it's never easy, but tonight, uh, I mean, there were a bunch of great storylines in this one. But I want to ask you about Bismack Biombo in particular, the kind of night he had. What, what, he what, what did you see? He was, he was massive. They did not win this game without him. He set the tone from the very beginning of the game with his effort level, and it was something they hadn't seen in a long time. They saw it all year in the regular season. They saw it in Indiana where he kicked the Pacers' butt throughout that series, but he's been invisible in this series up till now. He did a little bit in the last game when he started yep. for the injured Valanciunas, but nothing like tonight. He had that sequence, which was one of the most memorable sequences we've seen here. The couple dunks, huge block, finger wave on uh, finger wag on Dwayne Wade. He was, he was massive. Now, Ryan, a uh, couple of injuries in this game tonight. Damari Carroll goes down, Luol Deng goes down, one on each team. Um, what are the ramifications if, if Carroll can't go in game six? That's real bad news because he was cooking uh, almost 50% from three in the series. Yeah. Uh, one of their lone, really solid, reliable outside threats. And he finally did a good job on Dwayne Wade, which was a bit of a challenge the previous game. And obviously he can guard the bigger guys really well. He's probably the team's best two-way player. That's a huge loss if, yeah. if he's hurt. And the x-rays were negative though, so but he's going for further testing. Yeah, MRI tonight and we're going to find out tomorrow. Uh, Deng, what do you uh, what do you think? How do you think that impacts the uh, the Heat? I mean, he wasn't doing too much. He he was good at the beginning of the series, and he's kind of fallen off a bit. But he's a gamer. He's a good defender that gives DeRozan some trouble when he's on him, or gives whoever. Uh, and he said he'll play through whatever as long as there's nothing broken. So. I, I have a feeling with those two guys, as tough as they are, we'll be seeing them in uh, Game 6. All right, so that Game 6 goes Friday night in Miami. Raptors have a chance to get to the Eastern Conference Final for the first time in franchise history. Ever. Ever. For Ryan Wolstadt, Mike Ganter, here at the ACC for Post Media.